Frank, behind me is an open door. Tell me what will behind that, be behind that door this, uh, this autumn. Hopefully there will be some beaver families. How many? Four, I hope. And That's what you would like to have over to Scotland, I think. So this is going to be a little part of Scotland uh, this autumn? Definitely, yeah. Four families waiting to come here. How will you get hold of those four beaver families? We will go out here in Telmar County and trap them. We have developed some new types of landing nets, that's what we call them, or diving nets. So we are one driver and one person will trap them. In front. He's standing in front of the boat and he will jump out in the water and catch a beaver on shallow. How did you get into the business of trapping beavers for Scotland? Where did it all start? It started with my master's degree. So then I get more and more interested in doing research on beavers and then you guys contacted me to help, help you with the reintroduction. Once the beavers are here, how long do they stay here and then what happens? They will stay here in quarantine for one month before we send them to Scotland. And what will we do with them in Scotland then? You will release them in the wild after some quarantine period, I think. Why will it be good for Scotland? It's a really interesting animal and I think a lot of people will like to just watch it, observe it, go out there and see it in its natural habitat, how it swims around in the pond, tail lap, and it's a really interesting animal to, to look at. Will it help our biodiversity in the part of Scotland that we're going to reach in? Definitely. So what will happen there? They will probably yeah, cut down trees, that's something beavers do, but they will benefit a lot of other animals like insects. Insects will be eaten by fish. And some water birds may come there and eat insects and also fish, some of them. There may uh, come some breeders like uh, woodpeckers that uh, really like dead trees and make the hole in the tree and breed there. And maybe also some deers will come there and feed on the trees from the bark, right. bark of the trees that the beavers have felled. Some people say that there are too many beavers here in Norway and we're going to run into that difficulty in Scotland. We'll end up with too many. Do you think that's true? I, th I think you will get a huge population after some time. It will grow slowly, that's for sure. Some people are very fearful that this will lead to a destruction of the Scottish countryside. Um, looking around this beautiful countryside, I actually can't see, you know, from where I'm standing, a lot of evidence of that. Uh, do you think, therefore, that we've made the right decision to, to, to reintroduce them? Definitely. You have definitely made the right decision. And beavers, they don't eat fish. They may build some dams, but uh, it's not a problem for salmon or trout in most of the areas. They have lived together for many, many years, so they are developed together. And so I think it would be... You think so? The, the people who are, who are worried about it have nothing to worry about? Exactly. There's been a lot of argument about whether Scotland should do this. Do you think, speaking bluntly, I've made the right decision about this? Definitely, you've made the right decision.